Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a winter bath and body works haul. Oh my God, I can't even lift up this bag, hold on. Give me one second. So today we're going to be doing a winter bath and body works haul. You can see, oh my God, this bag is huge. I don't think I've ever had a bigger bath and body works bag. Maybe I'm lying, but um, yeah, I went crazy and got a crap ton of candles. I actually did not even purchase anything during candle day, surprisingly, because I purchased the majority of these before then. So I have burned all of these candles at least twice in my life, um, two to three times pretty much. Actually, even more than that, I would say like three to five times each. So I have a really good idea of how they perform, the throw, the scent, all that jazz. And I also, you know, I couldn't just end it with candles. I have body care and hand soap stuff like that in here and i'm gonna share all that with you and we're gonna get started and if you know me um you know that i love bath and body works it's my favorite place to do big hauls like this um in terms of like body care and candles which are two of my favorite things ever people always ask me what do you spend your money on and immediately i say my discretionary funds go to makeup and candles like that's it like if i'm spending money on me that's what i'm buying i don't care about clothes really i don't care about anything else just give me makeup and candles and i'm good all right, and I'm sorry if the lighting is really weird. The sun is actually setting, so I apologize that the lighting looks really weird. I have like my really harsh ring light and then I have my light on in my room. But um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. Oh, I feel like I look terrible. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see everything that I've hauled for winter, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Do you guys like my ugly sweater? Um, this is like the first time I ever purchased an ugly sweater like in my life and I got it for my office holiday party um, and I actually really like it. It's got like animals in a van. I think it's really cute. Anyway, um, I made my uh, dog tur Werther's Maple <laughs> take uh, holiday photos with me in front of my tree because this is the first year I actually got a tree for my place. I will insert some photos here. She was not happy, but I got her a little scarf and a little hat that doubled as a chew toy. So once she was done taking photos, my reward was giving her the hat to destroy but you get what I mean anyway let's just stop rambling and get into candles let's start with this guy this is a holiday classic this is fresh balsam um I love how they change up the packaging every year and also how they do different packaging varieties every year so this isn't the only fresh balsam design that you can buy there are other ones as well so this is what the one that I got looks like really pretty classic sticker that doesn't go all the way around but the glass is really pretty and green and then the lid is like a copper embossed snowflake so it's really like timeless and really pretty and I just love how classic it looks and oh my god this you can see I've already burned this like four times if not five already and I'm almost halfway done so this one burns very evenly fresh balsam historically has always been a candle that a I always buy and b it always tends to perform very well the throw is like an eight out of ten it burns really evenly and I would suggest if you have a candle wick trimmer just trim the wicks every time before you um, burn your candle that'll just help it burn more evenly but this as you can see no bubbling completely even it smells amazing they have a couple other like fresh balsam varieties like they have tree farm i believe which is um a new version this year i think it's not as strong as fresh balsam but in my opinion fresh balsam is always where it's going to be at the notes in this are woodland balsam crisp eucalyptus fir branches cedar wood with essential oils probably like my all-time favorite winter scent or like one of them like this is a necessity for sure another necessity that i actually just purchased yesterday but i've burned twice already since is winter and today actually when i'm filming this is the first day of winter so i was like oh perfect i gotta get it and this is the packaging that i chose they have a couple different ones as i mentioned but i like the simple label with like the little detail it's got some texture which i think is so cute and the wax is like a light blue similar performance to fresh balsam um this burns really evenly has a really nice throw i would say this throws like a seven out of ten this one's a little bit stronger in my opinion but this still does perform very well and the notes in this are white woods pine needles sparkling clementine spice clove with essential oils and some people ask me what the difference is between these two this one smells like a straight up christmas tree like pine and fir and just like walking through a forest this smells like citrus and woods like it just smells like you're walking through a forest as well, but just like with a nice layer of snowfall and it's more citrusy than this one. But I think they're both amazing. And I buy these seriously every winter because they are essentials for me. Like you can't go wrong. I think these are both amazing and so fresh and so crisp and they just both perfectly embody um, what winter feels like in my opinion. Okay, now going to my nicely wrapped candles. I'm gonna pull them out one at a time. Um, and by the way, if you're wanting these 
holographic cellophane things. They have them at Bath and Body Works and I believe you just ask for it and it's free and they give you like a little ribbon as well. So they're really nice as gifts. This one that I have right here is balsam and firewood. This is the first time I actually ever purchased this and this smells so good. Like I love like the simple packaging, that frosted white barn candle um, and you can see it burns very evenly. The throw on this though is not very good. I would give this like a five out of 10. It's not super duper strong, which kind of sucks because it's got like that warm fire musky element to fresh balsam, which obviously you can tell by the name, but this smells so nice and it's not super duper smoky. So if you're someone who doesn't love like a super like rough scent, like this might be for you. The notes in this are cedar wood, cardamom, white birch with essential oils. And I do smell the cardamom, but this mostly just smells like warm firewood, like in a little bit sweet. I don't really smell the balsam note as much as I do the um, cedar wood note. Obviously that's like the forefront of this, but this is really nice. It's like you're sitting by a fire, but it's definitely really warm and a little bit sweet. So I think this is really nice, but I just wish it would be more strong. Okay, next up we have London. This is from the Land of Sweets collection. And I gotta say, I'm really loving this collection. I love the packaging. Um, Land of Sweets, I have a couple other candles. Basically, it has like this pretty like animated. Um, I love the textures. It's so pretty. Like whoever does a graphic design for Bath and Body Works, A plus. Like I commend you attention to detail. Everything is just so visually and aesthetically appealing. I love it. Um, this is tea and biscuits and you can see it's so pretty. It's got a wrapping all the way around and it's nice texture as I mentioned. And then these have like the white lids. The labeling is a little bit more fun and less serious so to speak than like a traditional like white barn candle. Like it's more playful and really sweet. Um, and this one is really nice. I would say the throw on this is about a seven out of 10 as well, six to seven out of 10. It's definitely a strong candle, but the throw isn't as amazing as what I've experienced from Bath and Body Works before. But this is a new scent. I've never tried this before and you can see I'm already almost halfway done. The performance is pretty nice. I love the color of the wax. This is like one of my favorite colors ever. Um, and the notes in this are iced lemon, sugar crystals, and buttery shortbread. And if you know me, I love like, pie crust, flaky crust, shortbread, like graham cracker notes. Like I love like pie candles from Bath and Body Works, like warm apple pie, berry waffle cone. Those are like two of my all time favorite candles ever. And the common denominator for both of those candles is that they have like that kind of like warm gourmand crust, buttery, flaky kind of shortbread-ish note. So that's why I thought I would love this. And I do really like it. It's a nice candle and it smells like lemon and it smells like a lemon scone honestly so if you're not into that you won't like this but I definitely don't think this is too overpowering it's not a sickeningly sweet scent so I think you might really like it if you're into that kind of warm but also like crusty and buttery scents um definitely give it a shot I think you might be surprised all right next up we have another land of sweets candle and this is one of my all-time favorite candles as well definitely in my top 10 um this is sugared snickerdoodle i bought this last year and this is in the holiday traditions packaging um the one that i purchased this year as you can see looks so cute and this is such a strong candle i can smell it even like when it was in that wrapping and i smell it right now um the problem with this this throw is amazing eight to nine out of ten easy however you can tell the throw the the burning it does not burn evenly which is such a bummer because it does burn pretty fast but then do you see that like chunk right there i don't know why it won't ever get down and just burn off this part which is really weird because usually that happens with candles that aren't really as strong but this one is a very strong candle and last year i had a similar issue where the throw was amazing the scent was beautiful but performance just wasn't as good as i had hoped um so i don't know if it's just the same formula year over year but this smells so good, honestly, like cookies and just warmth and just oh, like that amazing buttery sensation that makes you feel really cozy without making you feel like you want to vomit because it's too sweet. And the notes in this are warm spices, creamy vanilla and sugared musk. And I definitely smell that rich vanilla scent. It's not necessarily vanilla bean Noel because that one's not my favorite. Vanilla bean Noel to me smells more of like marshmallow fluff, a little bit artificial vanilla. This just smells like vanilla cookies and it just smells so freaking good and it's very like light but very rich at the same time if that makes any sense to anybody um yeah i love this i buy this year over year it's amazing one of my favorite candles of all time for sure okay next up we have i guess i'm just pulling out all my land of sweets candles this one is crushed candy cane and 
I um, haven't bought this before. I have bought Twisted Peppermint before, but I had never purchased Crushed Candy Cane. This again is in the Land of Sweets packaging. You can see it's like Elf Village and you can see like the designs are different with little Christmas trees. It's so freaking cute. I love this packaging. I just, I love it. I love everything about it. And I love that the wax is red. You can see this one burns very well. I burned this about three times and it burns very well. And it's definitely a strong candle. Like when I smell it, I'm like, woo, on cold sniff, it definitely smells very good. And I don't know why I want to keep saying pigmented. Candles are not pigmented, actually. Like it's not a... It's a makeup term. It's not a candle term. Um, but you get what I mean. Like it's a very strong throw and it definitely makes your room smell nice and minty, but warm at the same time. Um, and I would say like in comparison to like Twisted Peppermint, this one is a little bit less vanilla-y and a little bit more like straight up candy cane, which would make sense because it's like crushed candy cane. Um, the throw on this, I would say, is about a 7 out of 10. It's not the strongest I've ever smelled, but it's also not bad. And the notes in this are crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, frosted mint leaf. And yes, I mean, there is no vanilla in here, which would make sense because I don't smell vanilla um, in comparison to like twisted peppermint, which definitely you can smell that vanilla undertone. So if you want something a little bit more minty, like straight up mint, like twisted peppermint is very minty, obviously. But if you want something straight up like mint, this is for you and it's great. By the way, if you're wondering what's burning in the back, um, when I do these haul videos, I like to just have all of my new candles with me to show you. So I have the perfect autumn burning in the back. So yeah, even though it's not autumn anymore, today's the first day of winter, but you know what I mean? Anyway, I think this is my last of, uh, what is this? The sweet shop or something, land of sweets candles. This one is blueberry sugar and this is also, a new scent to me as well. This one is so nice. Like, I just love it. Like, you can see the the can the packaging again, stunning. Just really, really pretty. Um, just looks so nice. Like, that's why I don't love buying candle holders that just cover up everything because you buy Bath and Body Works candles for the packaging too. Like, that's a big component of it. No pun intended. This is straight up blueberry. Like, this smells very good. It's sweet. It's not too sweet but it's definitely like a different kind of sweet from like sugared snickerdoodle obviously it's got that fruity element to it the notes in this are sweet blueberries brown sugar and graham cracker crust and obviously you know that when i saw graham cracker crust i had to buy it because i just told you that crackers and graham cracker and buttery crust is like my favorite note in a candle um it just makes it so warm and inviting and cozy and I love it and I can smell it, but definitely the blueberry note itself, like the fruity element itself is definitely more prominent, which is not bad at all. Like it's great, but you can definitely smell that there's more of that gourmand twist to it, kind of like balancing it out. So definitely I feel that all the notes are present in here. If I had to give this a rating for throw, I would say it's definitely like a six to seven out of 10 as well. Um, out of all the Land of Sweets candles, I would say that I have, this one is the most potent and then it's tea and biscuits. Um, these kind of are the same to me, but they're all really good. Okay, like moving on to more of like a fall candle, I think, but I did purchase it for the winter time. This one surprised me. I was not expecting to love this as much as I do. This one is, um, well, this is the packaging. This is apple cardamom crisp, but the packaging is like this nice textured blue uh, kind of wallpaper for cover. I don't really know how to explain it, but this is called apple cardamom crisp and the thing says grateful right here. Um, this smells so good and this throw is amazing. Eight to nine out of 10, easy which I was so surprised and this one doesn't burn as evenly or as fast as some of the other candles do which is kind of a good thing because it lasts a little bit longer but you can see there's some wax like on the edges and I don't know why like it's weird maybe I'm just completely wrong because these are like two of the strongest smelling candles that I own and they both do not burn evenly so maybe there's a correlation I'm not exactly sure but this smells so good like truly apples but like not warm apple pie but a little bit more like cinnamony and a little bit more cardamomy like it's not apple pie you know um even though the notes are very similar it's red apple spicy cardamom sugared clove buds and graham cracker crumble and graham cracker crumble that's definitely the note that I also smell too, that just balances it out. This is kind of like a spicy warm apple pie. Like if warm apple pie had like a baby with like clove and cardamom, like 
that's what that would be and it would just ugh, it's just perfect it's so good and it's still nice for the winter time going into the new year like um I just love like warm cozy scents it's actually getting very cold in Vegas so I love like all the warmth and coziness just give it to me I'm here for it and this is an amazing candle and I'm so happy I discovered this here two more candles and they are both classics this one is marshmallow fireside marshmallow fireside I don't even think I need to talk about but this one is so strong like oh my god this burns really fast though like you can see I've only burned this like three times and it's almost halfway done um it burns very evenly though very pigmented can't oh, it's not pigmented very strong throw definitely an eight to nine out of ten and they have a couple different packaging varieties but I loved this textured kind of print all around it's gold very classic and the notes in this are toasted marshmallows smoldering woods fire roasted vanilla and crystallized amber this is like perfect campfire woodsy smell without being like super duper woodsy encapsulated by trees like it literally just smells like you're toasting marshmallows over a fire which obviously it's marshmallow fireside this is a classic year after year it's so good and then last but not least we have one that i also purchase every single year this is hot cocoa and cream and it is absolutely stunning like look at it it's just so cute i also love like this and the fresh balsam have the similar packaging where it's like kind of like the um colored glass and then like a cute little like label right in the front this one is a little cat looking out the window it's so cute hot cocoa and cream is just that staple it's that bitch every single year it just smells so good like truly so good it's a feel-good candle it's like warm and chocolatey and the performance of this is really nice you can see it also burns very fast i've only burned this like three times um i'm almost halfway done but it burns very evenly and the notes in this are decadent milk chocolate fresh steamed milk and mini marshmallows so yeah you definitely get that like milk and chocolate vibe it's just so cozy and i love it okay now that i've talked your ear off about candles let's go into other stuff so I did also purchase the um cranberry woods and twisted peppermint scent portables I don't have them here with me because they're both in my car right now um but I did buy those which I love and let's talk about a couple body care items so I have two of these I actually just bought these yesterday this is Santa's blueberry shortbread looks like this is from land of sweets and I bought two because I figured I would love it and I do it smells so good it kind of smells I don't know why I think blueberry yogurt which kind of sounds gross it's not the notes in this are um baked blueberry crumbled shortcake and whipped cream so I think I get that whipped cream and blueberry note on first sniff but do you see this detailing right here I love this packaging it kind of reminds me the blueberry sugar candle this one definitely smells like blueberry cake and this one smells more of like blueberry and like graham cracker this one is definitely more like a blueberry dessert overall and I love it it's so cute I keep showing you the packaging because I just love the body creams they're so nice they really do keep your skin hydrated the ingredients are pretty good and um yeah I'm not gonna lie I bought this when they weren't even on sale um for $15 but uh worth it because it's good stuff and it'll last me like two months so perfect for the rest of the season and an older body cream I got well it's not older I just purchased it um like a month and a half ago this is winterberry wonder um this is so nice like this just smells like berries and vanilla it just smells like Christmas time and I like I said I've been using this for about a month and a half so I've been using it every single night and I love it I love how the scent lingers on your skin but it's not in like a gross like disgusting way the notes in this are frosted winter berry sparkling cranberry and crystal vanilla it does smell like vanilla and berries and it's just perfect for the winter time I would say definitely like these are both very fruity scents um but they both have that nice kind of warmth to it like a little touch of that gourmand element not necessarily like Christmas cookies gourmand or just like straight up that kind of sweet but more of like that fruity kind of edge to it and I think they're both really amazing and I'm really really happy with them let's talk about shower gels um this is one that I've been using for a few weeks now this is twisted peppermint looks like this and you know twisted peppermint is a classic and I love this it's the scent that I have in my car right now in my scent portable this smells as I mentioned um, a little bit more icy and a little bit more wintry and vanilla y than crushed candy cane like this has cool peppermint sugared snow and fresh balsam like oh it just smells so wintry I don't know how to explain it it smells so good it 
it's just so invigorating in the shower and it doesn't leave your body like cold like maybe you would expect like mentally um i love it it just is that perfect balance of sweet and tart and crispy and icy like I don't know i'm sorry these descriptions don't make any sense but this truly smells amazing and it's a classic year after year highly recommend it because i love like invigorating scents in the shower that are warm and cozy but also will make you feel like i'm a whole new woman you know what i mean speaking of invigorating i just purchased this today um this is the bath and body works bright lemon snowdrop shower gel this is also from their land of sweets collection and they don't have a candle in this scent but this smells so good and actually come to think of it this also is lemon right the london candle oh yeah i forgot so these are pretty much siblings as well um this one obviously smells more like cookies and this one just smells like lemon and vanilla like iced lemon pound cake like this smells amazing and i wanted to buy this because i love like invigorating cozy warm scents uh sweet scents in the shower and I don't want something that was super duper 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 sweet like straight up sweet and I thought this would be a nice little pick me up the notes in this are frosted lemon citrus marshmallow fluff and vanilla bean I definitely smell all of those notes that vanilla note is very prominent that marshmallow is just like a little touch to balance out the lemon acidity um but yeah this is really really nice and I haven't used it yet but I can't wait to and I'm excited okie dokie last but not least is the fresh sparkling snow foaming hand soap notes in this are icy melon holiday pear and falling snow i usually don't buy foaming soaps but i wanted to give this one a shot because whenever i go to my friend chloe's she has like all foaming soaps like i've given her a couple non-foaming soaps because i'm like try these other formulas but she loves foaming soaps and so i was like you know what like i love this like why don't i buy some for myself because usually if you watch my past hauls which i will link them below i usually purchase the exfoliating soaps or the nourishing soap so i was like let me give it a shot and i love it i love how fresh this smells like it just smells so fresh and just like wintry but also very clean and i love this little like hedgehog walking i'm a sucker for cute packaging like oh it's so good um and i love it i keep it by my kitchen sink and yeah it's really really nice and i love it all right everyone and that is it for today's bath and body works haul my winter haul i hope you enjoyed me talking about all of my candles some body care some hand soaps all that good stuff leave me a comment down below please with what you've purchased this holiday season i would love to know let me know if there's anything i need to pick up or what you're looking forward to if there's anything in my collection right here that i've spoken about that you love as well or your thoughts so yeah um but anyway happy holidays thank you so much for watching um i will be filming my yearly favorites soon so stay tuned for that and i cannot believe we're already in 2020 that is freaking insane to me 2019 was such a year um but i'll save that rant for my best of 2019 video but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please and hopefully i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye